I want to take a minute to uh, thank a group of teachers and other union members who this morning went out and set up picket lines at a number of sites so that people could respect the picket line and come to the rally. Uh, teachers from Victoria and the three STAs, Souk, Saanich, and Surrey. So thank you very much to those teachers. And to any other union members who joined them in those picket lines. Now, as teachers in schools, we of course don't work alone. We work in a team. And we work side by side with a number of support unions, but by and large, the vast majority of those uh, members of our team in schools are members of the Canadian Union of Public Employees. They keep student records, they keep our schools safe and clean, they provide learning support for students with special needs. They're a vital piece of the of the community of the school and they make an enormous contribution, as does their leader, Barry O'Neill. <laughs> Barry has been a good friend of teachers, a strong voice for public education. He's been with us every step of the way in every battle we've thought, fought. He's stood behind us and always been strong and true in support of teachers. Please welcome Barry O'Neill. Well, thank you all for being here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me in there? Yeah. That's the important part of it. Personally, let me bring you greetings on behalf of the 85,000 members that we represent in British Columbia and this morning I got a letter, as the teachers did, from our national president, Paul Moist, representing 620,000 members in this country, and they are there with you all across Canada. <laughs> Sisters and brothers, neighbors and friends, students and parents and members of communities, I want to thank a special group, a group well, I heard a little rumor a little while ago, and Susan approached me and said, you know what we're going to have? We're going to have a picketless strike. I said, is that like a wireless phone? I have no idea how to react to a picketless strike. But let me tell you, all of those folks out there, those 30,000 members that we work with in K-12, you can be proud of what you're doing as an ask from a teachers. We know how difficult it is, but we're proud that you did what teachers wanted you to do, and you're fighting with us, and we are going to get rid of this picketless strike pretty soon. My friends, I'd like to say that I'm speechless, but I'm not, and you aren't, and you shouldn't be. I'd like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not, and you shouldn't be. But I can tell you one thing. I am pissed off with what's going on with our government and this crowd. You know, my friends, it's about time. It's about time the government's understood a couple of things. There doesn't ever seem to be a good time in this province for workers to get their share. When it's bad times, we got a constraint. When it's good times, we got to save for the future. What time is it? Well, the time is now for workers in British Columbia and Miss Clark and Mr. Falcon. You need to understand that we're not going away this time. Not now, not ever. certainly wouldn't need to send much to the lab and DNA to find out what this is all about. The footprint, the fingerprints, it's all there. It's all there, put together by some, by two in particular, that started this mess ten years ago, and that's Christy Clark and Kevin Falcon. And they're the ones that need to be responsible for British Columbia. 
sisters and brothers, I want to thank the teachers in British Columbia in particular, a couple of who are in the crowd right now that taught me, and I apologize for all of those things that I did. But I want to thank teachers because they are once again standing up for all of the right things. And as well as providing education for our children all across, the chil all across this province, yours and mine, they're also parents. And they're also people who support communities. In fact, this government has got to stop talking about economies like we don't know anything about them. Workers in this province are the damn engine of the economy, and with us there would be nothing in British Columbia. Friends, it's a sad day for us all. It's a sadder day for our children and their children. I just got emailed from one of my friends on Vancouver Island who said that we have a contingency of government members right now in Ireland trying to recruit workers in the trades and trying to recruit workers for nursing homes because there's going to be 338,000 jobs available in British Columbia. Get your ass out of Ireland. Come on back home. We can fill those 338,000 jobs with our young people. We can train them. Take yourself, get a ticket and get back here. Hundreds of thousands of taxpayers dollars. My friends, this is not what any worker in British Columbia ever wanted to see. And we have to change it. We have to change it for our kids and we have to change it for workers because of all of the things that are right. When I mean talked about democracy, that's really democracy. It's education. It's our friends in the forest sector has been demolished in this province in 10 years. It's manufacturing who's left the continent. It's de-skilling of workers and our ability to make a difference for future generations. My friends, I can tell you that your fight is our fight, is my parents' fight, is our kids' fight. And we had better start now because if we allow this Liberal government to continue, there will be nothing left for our kids, and that's the deficit we need to worry about. Thank you very much. make a rousing speech. Mm -hmm. The BCGEU represents 50,000 members in our public service. <laughs> they protect our environment for our children, they care for seniors, they manage our, our forests, they provide permits for development, they are the heart of our justice system. They educate our kids before they come to kindergarten and, the, and again when they reach college and university. Daryl Walker is the president of the BC Government and Service Employees Union. And he and, and his members have gone above and beyond the support of our province's teachers today. Thousands, thousands of BCGEU members honored picket lines this morning so they could be here at this rally with us.